Hello and welcome to the seventh part of this Pi game tutorial. Today we are going to make our character have an attack and be able to destroy the enemies. So let's get started. So first thing we'll do is we'll go into the player.py and we want to go down here and we want to make a new class. Call it attack and we will bring in Pi game sprite dot sprite and we will define initialize and the parameters we'll need is game x and y and we'll do self dot game equals game self dot underscore layer equals player layer we want this to be on the same layer as our character self dot group equals self dot game dot all sprites and we want to do self dot game dot attack we need to do pi game dot sprite dot sprite dot initialize self self dot groups and then we'll do self dot x comma self dot y group the variables and we'll do x comma y and we'll do self dot width comma self dot height equals tile size tile size and we'll do self dot animation loop equals zero if self dot animation loop double equals zero, then we'll do self dot collidable equals true. And this will make it where when we first attack, it will actually collide with the enemy. So then we'll do self dot image equals self dot game dot attack sprite sheet dot get sprite. But we still have to create this attack sprite sheet. So let's go to main and we have to import our attack sprite sheet. So I've provided a link below. I'm gonna go ahead and go to it. And once you open it, you should be able to just right click, save image as, and then you find your folder for the game, and then you can save it as attack.png. Once it loads up over here in your Explorer, then we can go ahead and put it in here. So we'll do self.attack sprite sheet equals sprite sheet attack.png. Now, if we go over here, attack.spritesheet.get, we open it up. We want to start off with the first image. So we'll do 0, comma, 0, comma, self.width, self.height. This will just be our first image that it does. It'll animate through the rest of the pieces of the PNG file, but for now, that's what we wanted to start with. So now we'll do self.rect equals self.image.getrect self dot rect dot x comma self dot rect dot y equals self dot x comma self dot y and now we need to create an attack animation so we want to go to animation.py then we'll do define attack for animation self self dot right animation equals Create the list of animations. Like I've said before, you're welcome to figure these out yourself, but I'm just going to go ahead and punch in what I know. Self attack sprite sheet get right 0 64 dot width self dot height. We got our comma. We'll copy it. There's five pieces to this animation. We'll do 32, 54, 96, 128. down animation Let's change these all to 32 left change these all to zero all right that's for up now let's do this for left animation this will be 96. Next, we want to create our define attack animation animate. We'll do self. We want to set our direction self dot game dot player dot facing. Whichever direction the player is facing, it will set that as direction variable. So now we'll do if direction will equals up. Then self dot image self dot up 
animation. You want to do math.floor, self.animation loop, and self.animation loop plus equals 0.5. So it'll animate a lot faster than our character and our enemy. So then we'll do if self.animation loop greater than or equal to 5 is how many we have in our animation. Then we need to self.kill. That way it'll stop our attack. So we just want it to run through each one of these images and then stop. We don't want it to keep on looping through it. We basically just want to copy this down, down, left, left, right, right. So now let's go back to our player, that py, and let's pull in our attack animation. Again, self. Then we need to define update self, self.animate and self.collide. We've got to create both of these still. So we'll define animate self and attack animation underscore animate plugin self. Then we still need to create the collide so we can destroy the enemy. Collide self. We need to do self.collidable and hits equals pygame dot sprite dot sprite collide and pull in self self dot game dot enemies and true it means basically if it hits an enemy group then it is going to destroy it as you see by the do kill one thing we forgot to do is we forgot to do the attacks layered update so let's go over here real quick to main and right below enemies let's do self dot attacks equals pygame dot sprite Dot layered updates. Okay, let's go back to our player. Okay, we'll do if hits, then pass for now. So now we need to make sure that when we hit the spacebar button, it attacks. So now we need to go to our main.py and in events, we need to do if event that type double equals pygame dot key down, then if event a key equals pi game dot k underscore space which is our space bar then we want to check its direction and attack in whatever direction that we are facing so we want to do if self dot player dot facing double equals up then we want to run the attack class and do self self dot player correct dot x comma self player dot rect dot y minus tile size. So it's going to take one tile size above the player's y, which in our case will be 32 pixels. So it'll take our player, then it'll go 32 pixels up, and that square will be where it attacks. So copy, paste, paste, and paste. Do down, left, and right. And for this, we'll do plus tile size. So it'll take our player and it'll add the 32 to go to the bottom of it or down. We want to take this away from the X rect on this part instead of the Y. So we'll do this. Same thing here. So if we want to add. Okay, so when we try to run this, we hit space and it gives us this error. This object has no attribute player. While we're here, we need to do the pi game dot and in for initialize to make sure it initializes everything in Pygame. Okay, so that took me a minute to figure out what was going on. Apparently my self.player, I had an uppercase here instead of a lowercase, and that caused me some problems with my code over here being able to be interpreted properly. So now if we try it out, we have our attack, and it kills the enemy whenever it hits. So that's pretty cool. So that'll be it for this part of the tutorial. If you're interested in making lives and a game over screen and an intro screen, make sure to check it out on the next parts of this tutorial where we'll be going over stuff like that. Thanks for watching.